Local government is all around us. It's the foundation of our daily lives, providing essential services and infrastructure. Cities and villages are hubs for commerce, manufacturing, healthcare, and education for all Wisconsinites. But understanding what cities and villages in Wisconsin do and how they operate can be confusing. That's where the League of Wisconsin Municipalities comes in. We're pleased to present this short video to help you understand city and village government in Wisconsin, broken down into two sections, how municipalities are created, grow, and are funded, and the critical services municipalities provide. Did you know 72% of Wisconsinites live in cities and villages? Cities and villages are where most of the state's population resides, and they are the core of commerce, manufacturing, healthcare, and education for the state. You could even say that cities and villages are the engine that keeps Wisconsin moving forward. Cities and villages in Wisconsin are general purpose units of government, providing essential services like police, fire, garbage, and recycling collection, water, and sewer. Each municipality is unique in shape, size, and governance structure, representing the unique needs of its residents. As of 2024, there are 190 cities and 417 villages in Wisconsin. Cities and villages are the center of commerce and civic activity for their region, providing services to residents and non-residents alike. The largest cities in Wisconsin include Milwaukee, Madison, and Green Bay. The smallest villages are Yuba, Big Falls, and Ingram. Each municipality is unique and offers a different variety of services and government structure. Collectively, the 607 municipalities in Wisconsin include 90% of the state's commercial property value, 89% of the state's manufacturing value, and all 13 UW System four-year campuses, and 22 of the 23 independent private colleges and universities. How do cities and villages differ from towns and counties? Cities and villages offer different services than counties and towns. For instance, they provide fire protection services, while counties generally don't. Counties are responsible for circuit courts and social services, which cities and villages are not, but may have a municipal court. Towns provide fire and ambulance services, but usually lack many of the services and amenities provided by cities and villages, like senior centers, water and sewer systems, swimming pools, sports fields, convention centers, and libraries. Cities and villages are the economic and civic centers of their area. The state grants them broader powers than that of towns and counties to act for the health, safety, and general welfare of the community. This is called home rule, which means citizens govern themselves in local matters and determine local affairs and their government structure. How are cities and villages created? Cities and villages can be created through incorporation or consolidation, following procedures detailed in Wisconsin statutes. Incorporation used to happen through special acts of the state legislature, but as the state grew, a more administrative process was formed. Each municipality has a choice in how their local government is structured. Citizens in a community come together and decide how best to serve one another and members of the community can take part in municipal government through service on various boards, committees, and commissions. How do cities and villages grow? Cities and villages grow through redevelopment of existing areas. They also grow by accepting landowner requests to connect their adjacent land to the municipality in order to obtain higher levels of service, such as sewer or water. This process is called annexation. Parcels of land in unincorporated areas come under the jurisdiction of adjacent cities or villages when annexation requests are approved by the city or village's governing body. What revenues are available to cities and villages? Cities and villages finance their operations, public services, and capital assets through a mix of revenue sources, including primarily property taxes, shared revenue, state transportation aids, special assessment fees, and borrowing. Since 2006, state law strictly limits the annual growth in a community's property tax levy, one of the strictest limits on property tax growth in the country. Since the 1920s, the state has provided financial aid to municipalities in the form of shared revenue. 
prior to 2024, shared revenue funding over the last 25 years had been steadily declining. In 2024, the state legislature and the governor recognized the need to better fund the cost of local services and provide a supplemental shared revenue payment to all local governments. Starting in 2025, growth in shared revenue payments moving forward will be tied to the annual percentage increase in the state's sales tax revenue. Wisconsin municipalities rank seventh nationally among states for being the most reliant on the property tax to pay for local services. No other Midwestern state relies so heavily on property tax and so little on other taxes to pay for municipal services. Municipalities provide critical services. Wisconsin cities and villages provide vital services like public safety, infrastructure, and a high quality of life. These services may vary based on the unique needs of each community. But most municipalities offer services like police, fire, water, sewer, parks and recreation, garbage and recycling collection, and street maintenance. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation oversees only the 11,745-mile state highway system. The other 103,929 miles are maintained by the cities, towns, counties, and villages in which they are located. We did the math, and that's almost 90% of all the roads. 90% of Wisconsin's commercial value is in municipalities. Municipalities in Wisconsin provide critical services for the 72% of state residents that live in cities and villages, nearly all of the state's airports and all commercial ports, and 153 of the state's 155 hospitals. According to the U.S. Census, Wisconsin cities and villages are efficient in spending taxpayer dollars. Local services in Wisconsin are less costly per person than two-thirds of other U.S. states. Wisconsin municipalities use taxpayer dollars efficiently when compared nationally. Municipal government is at the heart of our communities, providing the foundation for our daily lives. Wisconsin cities and villages are home to the majority of our citizens and workplaces and hubs of commerce for most. Wisconsin cities and villages are where families live, people gather, and business happens. Cities and villages move Wisconsin forward.